my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the Oh, yeah, awesome. I wasn't sure if I was going to beat him or not. What is going on, guys? Thank you for checking out a video here on my channel. We are out at Aztec right now for the corks race. So I showed a little bit this morning making some emergency or whatever, airborne emergency. I'm not feeling too hot. Uh, the whole family's been a little bit sniffly. Not horrible, but just a little bit of cold blowing out a lot of snot and stuff. So uh, that's going to be a challenge today. But we're out here to do the 30 plus B and uh, race some dirt bikes. I picked up some numbers because unfortunately, even though I signed up and 991 was available, they gave me 990. Someone snuck in and grabbed 991. So we'll be running 990 today, but yeah, should be good. Um, this is the first corks of the year so they use the aztec the back part of ram <laughs> and um i don't know if they're yelling to me and then while they're at so should be a uh, good time we had good success out here last year just want to survive the race i don't know exactly where he is but alex will be out here um some other buddies we always have friends out here racing but should be a good time so daddy dio's back here starting getting unloaded let's uh yeah, get after it. Our site lap is at 12.30. It's 11.48 right now. So we got some time. And then uh, just get ready to get out there and rip it. We're getting pretty close to go time. There's still bikes on the track, but the parade lap will be going soon. So we're here with Alex and Gavin and um, getting ready to go out there. So we got Brian over here too. And uh, actually, I, so we're going to take our ketone IQ. Dad has one for our pit stop, but we're going to do like a double shot today and um yeah get down after it oh yeah all right we're throwing in the earplugs and throwing the helmet get down for a parade lap and uh this came up quickly but it's go time let's go have some fun with it get ready for the sight lap Just finished up the parade lap. I already feel bad for my air filter. It is a dust bowl. No, no shock with that. Very dusty. We get to check out Aztec and Wild Rat. We don't get to see Ram, so that's gonna be up in the air. But a lot of the Moto Track is getting used. I don't know. Be all right. I'm gonna soften my front clickers up a little bit, like three clicks maybe. And um, yeah, getting ready to go. Uh, I came far outside because I'm kind of slow on the whole hand on your helmet, grab the clutch and go. So I'm figuring everyone can kind of go. And then I can go around the outside. It's what I've done in the past. Works pretty well. So, uh, yeah, we just want to we want to survive it. Have a good, uh, good race. Good fun race. So that's what I keep telling myself. Going to drink a little more element water, and then uh, get ready to grip it and rip it. Let's have some fun. All right, we're getting ready for our race time. Row six, he's getting ready to tell us to put our hands on our head. Neutral start. Uh, 30 seconds, I have no idea. Whew, should be good. Yeah.
Say the police caught me off guard last time. Oh, this bad this time. Start. Okay, Daniel's coming around at the end of his first lap right now. Let's see how he's doing. Looks like he's in first place. There comes Oni. And his first lap. Try to jump these. I don't think it's worth it. Sorry. When I'm sitting in a good spot. My arms are feeling it. Gotta work through it. Work through this arm pump. back at the back of his bike. Hope everything is okay. All right, here comes Alex at the end of his second lap. Ninth place, maybe. Next lap! Kyle the road. Flopping me. He's the overall leader. Good on you, Kyle. Get it, buddy. Alright, we're fueling up this lap. Goggles okay. Yeah. Uh -huh.
Goggles <laughs> okay? You all right? Yep. Ought to be good. Whoa, sorry. Can you get that? Oh, I wouldn't. Whoop. Sick. <laughs> Okay, tear him up, Daniel. Uh, I think that pit stop was good timing. So I think it was all just uh, me getting lapped. Daniel back! Not worth it. This is coming up on the white flag. Daniel's top of the hill coming down here. Good job, Kyle. Yeah, sure. I'll need some uh, tissue. Yeah. 
we just finished up. That was a, a good one. Um, stopped my watch at two hours, one minute, 25 seconds. So probably take off a minute from sitting on the line. So right over two hours. My hands are pretty fried. The track is really unique because it's like, has enough moto that you want to hold up on the suspension, but then enough square edges that I wish I was way softer. The hands were really hurt, but we made it through. No Camelback. I only took some ketone IQ at the pit stop. Would have liked some water, but we needed to get back out there. I timed the pit stop up really well because uh, I got lapped by Kyle and then I pulled into the pits and I think that's right when that whole class went by, like three or four of that class went by. I'm assuming I won my class. I'm pretty positive. We'll see the, the results when they come out, but good ride. Um, off the start, I grabbed the clutch and I shifted into second. I should have went into first. Off the line, it was kind of like brrr, and I was kind of clutching, getting it going, because I had a good jump. I could have had that whole shot, but we made quick work of the guy who got the whole shot. We went outside around the little in out and uh, kind of squeezed by him and gave him a you, and he, he yelled back, so that was really cool. But uh, yeah, real good ride out there, I, I thought, and uh, happy to be back. I made it through all right. The sickness wasn't too bad. My nose was pretty pretty nasty, but um, didn't hold me back too much. So we're gonna go up to the truck, start getting changed out, and then uh, go check results and see where we finished up. But good stuff out at Corks. At the start of this, I said I was gonna feel bad for my air filter. Eh, it's not great. Could be worse, it's been worse before. <laughs> we'll definitely replace it before their next ride, don't worry, but yeah, it was dusty out there. Luckily, we did get a little bit of sprinkle, little tiny bit. I don't even think it was enough to keep the dust down, but nice and cooling at least, so. Yep, all changed out. As you can see, we're gonna load the bike up, head down to the Corks trailer and uh, check out the final result. I know you guys remember it from last year, but you get the plaque and then each race you get a sticker and you put on your finish. So we got our nice little first place. We'll slap that on when we get home, but yeah. Good stuff out there. Glad we uh, glad we were able to take it home and have a nice successful race. And um, I can't lie that uh, I feel kind of, I mean, it's nice to win, but I feel bad because I won by my class by over two minutes, right about two minutes. So a little bit of sandbagging, but if uh, I want to race some more corks this year, see how we can do in the 30 plus B. And then if I race any next year, I'll, I'll bump myself up just because uh, winning by two minutes isn't really fair <laughs> to anyone. So uh, happy with that, but a little sandbaggy, but that's how she goes. So let's head on home now. Hey guys, jumping in here real quick. First off, after the race, I felt great sickness wise. Today, feel horrible, way sicker. Took the day off work, feel absolutely awful. So uh, we're editing this though. And um, I've talked about this whole two minutes, winning by two minutes thing a fair bit. And I still kind of feel like bad about it, but looking at other classes, that's pretty common. One one minute, um, the vet A guy won by five minutes. He's insanely fast. He has the number three, like actually top dog in corks. Um, the pro class was really close. Kyle only lost by four seconds behind uh, Chase Bright. So that was crazy. But it seems like two minutes like isn't a lifetime. I, I was thinking like it was a huge gap. It seems like it's actually pretty pretty common but still the rest goes um that next year if i do any corks i'll uh get myself out of the b class and move into a um but yeah just wanted to throw that in there that the two minutes isn't really as big of a deal as i was making it out to be i always feel like i talk more to my buddies and not really to the camera and then i feel bad about it but awesome day out there the weather held up well it was pretty cool like high 50 55 something like that it's 46 now so didn't get too hot felt fine on the bike um, also helped to not have to have that temperature since I didn't run a camelback with water while racing so that helped a little bit for me uh, the track was pretty tough uh, there were a lot of square edges and uh, crazy bumps and the suspension you know I didn't set it for corks or anything I could have done with softening it up even more I did those three clicks like I told you guys about on the front forks could have probably softened it completely out and been fine but uh it's a hard mix because this race um the spring classic at aztec you have so much of the motocross track at aztec and then you have the back track at ram which is still very jumpy until you get into like the ravine and stuff so you just sacrifice it if you make it too soft then you're going to struggle on the motocross parts and if you make it too stiff then you're going to struggle on the off-road parts so kind of just have to uh, pick your poison but we kept it where it was at and uh, it worked out pretty well for me uh the track yeah some parts were crazy dry and some parts were like insanely tacky and really nice out at ram you'd come through a corner and it was like loamy dark dirt felt so good and then at the top of the hill you'd get oh, excuse me you'd get to the dry rocks and it's like go from all this traction to just deflecting and bouncing everywhere so it was definitely hard uh the hands felt it right off the bat even the parade lap my hands felt it but able to persevere and 
do the do the two hours. So I'll, I'll have it up on the screen. Oh, look, all this uh, this bird. That's nice. That is crazy. Um, but yeah, I'll have it up on the screen. But my final time of two hours and whatever, and then the guy behind me two hours and whatever. But um, pretty substantial gap. If I had done 30 plus A, I probably could have got top five in it. I don't know. It, it always depends where you slot into all that stuff. It's hard to just assume. But uh, yeah, so what I'd like to do is try and chase the cork series, uh, finish up this 30 plus B, and then um, at the end of the year this year, whether I do finish up the series, if I race all the series, uh, what have you, I'll probably just move myself up just to... Uh, not be that jerk who just sandbags and wins by two minutes <laughs> i'll take it today but we won't continue that trend moving forward but at least after 2024 that is anyway um we're going to go to texas roadhouse i put in a to-go order and got myself a nice big slab of prime rib so that was my reward that i told myself i'd give myself if i uh did well out here getting a big fat piece of prime rib so i'm excited for that so I'll show you guys that and then uh, we'll close it down. But great day out there, obviously walking away with a win. It was fun being out there with Todd and Gavin and Alex and Ben and Brian and uh, Bradley and Todd Bannister and Cole Shondek was there just watching. Just so many great people in the moto community, whether that's RMRA or Corks. And uh, it's just always cool to be out at the track with our buddies. And obviously it makes it a little bit sweeter when uh, you leave with the win. So let's go get our food. Here to pick up our food and Look at this, it's like snowing. I don't know how much you guys can tell. At least it didn't happen during the race, but now I don't have to wash the bike, so that's nice. I'm kidding, I'm still gonna wash the bike. Boom, so we got our dinner and uh, celebratory, yeah, celebratory dinner. So you know, I'm gonna go ahead, unload, save the bike wash for another time. As you can see, the weather's kind of moving in. It's not snowing, whatever it was before, but it's all wet, so ended up being a fantastic day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, pretty cool to take the win. And uh, I know I've mentioned a few times winning by two minutes. If you look, the guy who got second beat the guy who got third by like a minute 40. So uh, we were all pretty spaced out there. So I don't feel as bad about it looking at it that way. But still, like I said, 2025, if I race corks, I'll plan to move up regardless of how the rest of this year goes. But uh yeah, because uh, we won last year pretty handily, then won again this year. So we'll go ahead and bump it up. But that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And uh, until next time, as always, take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice. Talk to you later. I live inside my own world of make-believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in Cross.